Hey, how's it going, YouTube friends? It's me, your one furry boy. Never back at you again. Feeling pretty good this week. Voice of an angel. At least I think so. Uh, just to let you know, I might be off next week because of the holiday season. Um, I usually do take a break sometime in the, in this month as well as in December. Just so you know, for some of you new viewers who aren't used to what I do here. And yes, you are watching The Never Show. The only show with lemon-scented limes, lest I forget. And the only show with a supernatural, super awesome third eye. And it's now festive for the holiday season. Laugh! And it's Wednesday again, my friends. I want to thank you all for being my YouTube friends. I don't know what I'd do without you. Thank you for being there for me. Thank you for watching my videos. Thank you for the great comments. They really do help. Please keep them coming. Thank you for clicking that subscribe button and that little bell icon because it's part of the YouTube experience and adding me to your YouTube experience. Thank you for that. Um, I don't want to shout out anything this week. There's, You know what's going on. I don't need to tell you. So let's just get right into the movie, shall we? And today's movie is Ford v Ferrari. It's two out. It is two hours and thirty two minutes. So avoid the super slaker if you're going to see this, because you're going to be there a while. But it's not going to feel that way, and that's a good thing. It's an action biography drama, and I'm going to pick apart biography right now. Movies are meant to entertain, and sometimes not everything is flowery and beautiful. And writers tend to sensationalize things a little bigger and may see things differently when it comes to writing a movie script. And that doesn't always work great with, with a biography. It's from director James Mangold, who did uh, Logan, Wolverine, and, and Walk the Line. Our writers were Jez Butterworth and John Henry Butterworth and Jason Keeler. The Minds That Brought You, uh, Machine Gun Preacher... Spectre and Edge of Tomorrow. Some decent movies that I have some good memories of. <laughs> uh, our cast was Matt Damon as Char Carol Shelby. The man blew me away. His colloquialisms, the stuff he said. It reminded me of things that I've seen in old movies of Carol Shelby talking. Uh, Christian Bale as, My as Ken Miles. Uh, I don't have a lot of memories of Ken Miles because he was... Before my time, uh, John Beth Bethel as Lee Iacocca. I feel like, I don't know. I don't know what Lee Iacocca was like, so I can't really say that he, he was good or bad. Carolina Baffle as Molly Miles. Her and Christian Bale have such great chemistry together. I'd love to see them in another movie. Um, and Noah Jupe who has such great chemistry with both Christian Bale and Katarina Baffle. I, I do want to see these three people in another movie. It's just, they are so good together. Christian Bale sinks into his role and he works so great with other people. Our production companies were Charmin Entertainment and 20th Century Fox. Our distributor here in the good old United States of America, God bless America, land that I love was 20th Century Fox. <laughs> Our special effects were done by Method Studios, Rising Sun Pictures, The Yard VFX, Factory VFX, Elfidi Digitali Italiani, which I've not heard of them before, but they sound familiar somehow. Uh, Halon Entertainment and LiDAR guys. And that's all the technical stuff you need to know. On to my thoughts on the film. My gosh, James Mangold with these guys writing. It was almost indestructible. This movie feels good you feel the speed the shooting is impeccable 
It is Steve McQueen-esque in the shooting. You feel the speed. You almost feel the rumble of the cars. You almost feel like you are the car and you're experiencing this. Matt Damon and Christian Bale act their faces off in this. And I cannot, I cannot wait to see another Matt Damon, Christian Bale film. If you're a writer out there, write for these guys. And if you have a strong script with a strong group that you're writing with, these are the guys you want to see in a movie. Chemistry between Christian Bale and Matt Damien. I'm not even going to cover that. Uh, I love that Christian Bale and Noah Jupe have this great relationship along with Katarina Baffle in the movie who plays Molly Miles. She is beautiful. She is witty. And the jokes were there. And they hit. And I actually laughed. And this is not a comedy movie. Remember, I said that this is, you know, an action biography drama. I mean, uh, Tracy Lettuce has one of the best one-liners in the movie, and I don't want to spoil you, spoil it for you, but it's about James Bond, and that's all I can say because I don't want to spoil it for you because if you haven't seen this movie yet, go see it. I highly recommend it, but we got to cover all, the, all our numbers here. It just is a feel-good movie, and I don't throw this around lightly because sometimes that's a bad thing and it detracts, but it is a feel-good movie, and it is a feel-good movie that you want to take and put in your DVD box for when you're feeling down because this will make you feel good. People working against their own inner demons and laws of physics and their own personal problems to win a race and create something that is iconic in that industry I wish I could say more but I don't want to bore you with car details and stuff there are things that eat apart this film as a biography Matt Damon wears some glasses that weren't made until the 2000s but they're period correct because blah 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 and some things were character flaws that they kind of wrote over to make it pretty for a film and you know People are going to pick this apart because it's a decent film and they're looking for those little foibles. You know, the car is the wrong year. The car is the wrong make. But if you overlook all that stuff, it's a great film. It's an 8.3 on IMDb. It's a 92% on Rotten Tomatoes. 98% of the audience liked it. Um, I want to see what CinemaSins thinks just because, you know, they're the pick apart guys and I'll leave it to them. Uh, as for you hardcore film buffs that just want my opinion on the movie, it's a definite TV watch. I see this as a DVD buy, and I don't want extras. I don't want anything. I want this movie on a DVD in the happy box. Uh, I want to see this again in theaters, but it is the holiday season, and I wish I could see it again. But I highly recommend this if you have time between shopping and eating and because it's Thanksgiving here in America and that's pretty much what we do is shop, eat, and then you see on the news Black Friday where people go insane. <laughs> oh, yeah. So uh, if you're here visiting family and you ha want to sit down with your girlfriend, I highly recommend this movie. I can't recommend it enough. I wish I could give it more justice. This and but to do that, I have to give you more spoilers, so that's the honest truth about that. If you like what you see in here, make sure you click that like button. More likes means this video got shared, and that's more important now than ever with the way YouTube is set up. I don't want to go into it any deeper, but it's important, and thank you for clicking it if you did already. Remember, all comments are 100% guaranteed response. Do I need to go deeper into the spiel? You remember the old spiel. I don't think we need to do that anymore, do we? And you know, I have to ask, I have an Amazon, I have a Patreon. It is not without your support that keeps this channel afloat. You do not realize how little I have to do so much. Thank you for supporting me so far, and thank you for supporting my American dream. And with all that said, for a final time, because it's a bit of running joke on my channel, if you like what you see and you want to see more of this nonsense, click that subscribe button and that little bell icon. Ring-a-ding-ding. -ding. And I will see you all in the next movie review. Bye.